Hi guys, it's Alana, and today I'm gonna to answer three more questions that I've been asked on the topic of nutrition and health. The first question people ask me all the time is when they should be eating dinner. And I really can't answer that for people because every day is so different. I do see that with my clients and myself, an earlier dinner generally feels better, but sometimes that's not a reality. So my best recommendation is just giving yourself three hours between eating dinner and anything and going to sleep. When you give your body at least three hours of not eating before bedtime, it helps with digestion. The second question I always get asked is how to stop stress eating. And I know I could talk about this forever because this is something I've had to overcome. And sometimes I still get really stressed and the first thing I want to do is eat. It is a gut reaction and if you get rid of the idea of food, a lot of it just comes down to deep breathing. When you eat because you're stressed, you actually force your body to breathe deeper. So rather than reach for food suddenly, just focus on taking three deep breaths, okay? Because usually we're just even too stressed to eat. We're not gonna enjoy the food we're eating in this state of panic anyway. So forget about food for a second, especially if it's not a meal time and you know you're not really hungry and just get productive. So that's the next best tip is first start with the deep breaths and then get productive, not destructive. Start making a list of everything you need to get done and slowly and surely just keep crossing it off and making sure you're actually combating the stress and being productive with it. And of course, the next question I get asked all the time is how to save money in a grocery store. And I love this question because I'm super budget conscious, especially when it comes to buying food in a supermarket because I'm so distracted by the sales and flavors and limited edition items and I have to stay on track. So my best recommendation is to go in with a plan. It's a really good idea to make a food list and stick with it um, or just ask yourself, how many people am I food shopping for and how many meals and how many days? So everything you buy then is serving a purpose and not just because it's in your face and it looks really good. The next best tip is to go frozen with some foods like frozen organic berries are very affordable because right now in the winter, berries can be very expensive. So when you go frozen with them, they are just as nutritionally sound, but they're a lot less expensive um, and they're just easier to find and more accessible. And when it comes to buying fresh fruits and vegetables, I really recommend going seasonal. Like I love spaghetti squash in the winter. They're usually half the price than you would find them in the summer. So I like to stock up and eat a lot of them in the winter months versus let's say a watermelon that would be double the price in the winter than you would find it in the summer. So it's a good idea to know your seasonal fruits and vegetables and choose those because they're gonna be more flavorful and definitely more affordable when they're in season. These are just three questions today and please keep writing in more of your favorite questions so I can answer them in the future.